the competitor is okay with seeing you win. They just don't want you to be better than them. So everybody on, that, that, that watched CeCe coming up, they were okay with her out there doing her best. But when she started breaking records and shit like that, they're like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Them, th th those are my records. And it's the same feeling when she got into the WNBA. Oh, no, she's breaking my records. Remember, these guys, they're, they're competitors. They want to see, they want to see CC do good because it's good for the sport, but they don't want it to all be about CC. Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy Chocolate with the Sexy Body, and welcome to a new episode of Chocolate Plays. We back. We back. Oh, God, I have missed y'all so much, but we back with some reactions for Kaylin Clark and these doo doo Olympics. Oh, have y'all been enjoying that? Have, can you tell me your favorite moment of the Olympics? Well, up until yesterday, if anybody who's seen Noah Law win that 100 meters, shout out to that boy. We're going to talk about him. Shout out to him. But up until that, what was your favorite moment of the Olympics? Probably some Simone Biles shit, right? It's got to be. Because there's nothing else that you're looking at the Olympics at and going, you know what? I really wanted to see that. Hell no, you not. You watching Taekwondo? Is you really watching Taekwondo? Are you watching breakdancing? Who in the hell's idea was it to put breakdancing in the Olympics? Who was on this committee? Who was sitting around saying, hey, you know what would be a good idea? If we went out there and got a breakdance crew to come out there and dance like the Jabberwockies and win a gold medal for the shit. Who y'all, who, who are y'all catering to? I don't even think people that breakdance want to watch breakdancing in the damn Olympics. What the hell? How do you even qualify for this shit? Where do they hold the rounds, the competitions to go compete in the Olympics for breakdancing? Somebody tell me. Is what the hell is this shit? You know what this is? This is what this is the CC effect, guys. This is the CC effect. I have been invested in CC since I heard about her playing for Iowa. And I've been invested to see her play in the damn Olympics. I've invested to see her play in the WNBA. She's been doing it. Then the Olympics roll around and they don't take her. And now I'm like, oh, shit, there's nothing going on right now. Look, guys, they don't even show Olympic stuff on ESPN. They don't talk about the Olympics on that shit. If they, it's very briefly. It's in the highlights. It's not a topic of discussion. They don't care about none of that shit that's going on right now. Who cares? They are talking more about off-season football than they are about these damn Olympics. Why? Because the Olympics are. They do, too. It stinks, too. It stinks. And boy, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that CC was not a part of this shit. Look, they're not even talking about the sports themselves. The last thing they were talking about was a transgender boxer that was being allowed to fight. That was the last thing they were talking about. And here's the thing. It wasn't even a transgender. It, it wasn't. This woman was born a woman, has, has always identified as a woman. It's just that she has too much of the, the male makeup in her, the male chemical that will make you more uh, masculine. That's, she's, she's made up more of man, I, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get into all of the biology and shit about it. But she ain't never once said that she was a damn man, ever. And they didn't try to turn this into some damn controversy, trying to make it to where, you know what I'm saying? We don't want these, these men turning into women and coming over here and competing. You know what? You know what would we'll, we'll, we'll solve this problem, but it ain't going to ever happen. This is what would solve this problem. If a woman trans, ter, transgendered into a man and was dominating male sports, that's when it would be a problem. Because you see, if it ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with the, the, the men, so that's why they don't care. That's why they don't care. There has not been anybody to infiltrate their ranks to be able to take over, but it's somebody who's been able to come and take over y'all shit. They don't care that y'all women are going through this right now. Otherwise, it would have been solved a long time ago. They would have solved this shit a long time ago and been like, you have changed your gender. And we understand the type of person that you was before you transformed. You had gifts and abilities that were way better than any of these females. If you were competing with the males and you was ranked 400 and then you come over to the females and you rank number one, there's a reason because of that. Because even the sorriest man will beat the best woman. <laughs> I'm just saying. Even Come on, you can go take any one of them damn basketball players in the NBA and they're not going to lose to no female basketball player. Go take any one of the players in the NBA. Take any one of them. They're not going to lose. Not to no damn woman. And now you're going to take men and turn them into women and have them compete against women. Boy, y'all get the shit in other stick, women. I, I feel bad for y'all. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel bad for y'all. But listen, that has been the topics of the damn Olympics, not the actual sports. But it's going to be now. It's going to be now because we finally got us a gold medal in a 100 meter dash. Guys, in the 20 years, it has taken the uh, Americans to win a gold medal. And Noah Lyles is the one that did it. Hey, go talk your shit, young man. Go talk your shit. This is the same dude that was telling the Americans, the, the Americans basketball team, that who y'all the world champions of what? What are y'all the world champions of? What are you? If you're a part of that Olympic team, you're a world champion now. If you're not a part of that Olympic team, you're no damn world champion. The fucking, are you, are you kidding me? Sorry for cursing, because I've been working on it. That the, the teams that compete inside the United States of America, how are they the best? How is this a world championship when it's only here in America? I don't want nobody to come at me with the backlash. I'm just, I'm just thinking, really think about this. This man, Noah Lyles, is literally the fastest man in the world. In the world. He got a gold medal for it. He can talk that shit. They're going to tell him he's the best in the world. You know who else is the best? The people who made the Olympic team. That's why it's a slap in the face to people like CeCe and people like Jalen Brown. Because Jalen Brown was on the world championship, Boston or Celtics, right? So why in the hell isn't he on the Olympic team? He's part of the best team in the world, right? Why isn't he representing the best team in the world? You know why? It's got nothing to do. Nothing to do with them picking the best. It's got them to do with picking the best that's for their agenda. That's what it's about. And now you've been serving up some bull crap, and I don't want to watch it. The Olympics are trash. I like to watch swimming, gymnastics, and track and field. Why? Because they all individual sports. I, go, I get to see the person go out there and be the best of him or her. No team effort. I don't, I don't like to subscribe to teams. Because other people don't have the mentality that I have. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. I can't look over to my fellow man and believe that from them. Not every time unless I can instill that in them. And what I've been seeing in the WNBA or in the NBA or NFL or any other uh, league, right? If you don't have a strong leader, you are going to fail. That's why they have to let CC be the leader of this team. She knows how to do it. She's been doing it before. You got to find a leader and get behind them. The problem with people is, right? And I just learned this. I learned this like three days ago, right? It says there's five people that you should avoid in life. One of the people is called a competitor. The competitor is okay with seeing you win. They just don't want you to be better than them. So everybody on, that, that, that watched CC coming up, they were okay with her out there doing her best. But when she started breaking records and shit like that, they're like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Them, th th those are my records. And it's the same feeling when she got into the WNBA. Oh, no, she's breaking my records. Remember, these guys, they, they are competitors. They want to see they want to see CC do good because it's good for the sport, but they don't want it to all be about CC. That's what it is. Same thing out there in the Olympics. They don't want it to all be about Noah after he's talked so much shit because now he can keep on talking shit and people don't like arrogant people. But I call him confident because he has won. The man has won a gold medal in 2000, the the the. But the 2021 Olympics, when it's in Tokyo, he won the 200 meters. This man has won 100 meters, and no man has done that in the last 20 years. Go talk your shit, son. And I hope they don't like it. I care less about how you feel. And that's the reason why all of this stuff that's going on right now is because of how people felt. How somebody felt is the reason why CC didn't make the Olympic team. But who cares? I, I get to see her train with her teammates and get better. I pray that they they jailed. So when they come back off this offseason, they all great. Timmy will come back. She didn't had like two to three months rest. She'd been off for a very long time with a thumb injury. I don't know, did you hyperstand it? Did you break it? Did you jam it? Because if that's the case, y'all just need to learn how to catch passes from CC. That's what it is. She probably was passing you the ball and probably jam your thumb trying to catch it. <laughs> that's what probably happened. But I hope that y'all have to take this time out to get it together. Because, Cece, you didn't miss nothing from this Olympics. You didn't miss anything. It's been the most unexciting shit that you've ever seen in life. I, you can't tell me your favorite moment from any of those uh, uh, basketball games. I, I, I haven't watched any of them. 
I ain't watched any of them because you mean to tell me that you assembled the best male basketball team ever and you're only winning by one point to a country that's only been uh, a country that's only been in existence for what was it, 13 years? We're supposed to be the best of the best. We're supposed to be dominating these people out there. And that's not what I'm seeing. That's what I want to see. That's how I'm entertained when it comes to international play. That's the one time that we all come together as a conglomerate and we all cheering for the same people. But it didn't happen this year because y'all screwed one of the people who should have been out there representing y'all. How did y'all do it? And it's not even, it's not even a how. It's the why that you do it. It's the why. Y'all can talk that crazy shit all y'all want, saying that hey, everybody's watching this and da-da-da-da. The highlights don't show that. The ESPN don't tell us that. Shit, what they told us was that 13,000 people came to y'all first game. They said that was the least amount of attendance at any athletic uh, event in the Olympics. How is that so? Because y'all have nothing to show us. It's the same thing y'all put out there on display four years ago. It's been the same thing that y'all been put out there on display for the last 20 years in the, dub, in the WNBA. And now you got the shining light, right? Because no allows us a shining light. Go talk your shit. I love individual sports. I love individual I love the greatness. And it's hard to be great on a team when you got other people who keep shitting on your greatness. They keep trying to hold you back. They don't want to listen. That's the problem with teams. But ho hopefully they got it together. Hopefully this team got together and we can see some good basketball. Finally, because this Olympics, as well as trash, track and field came back to save it. Sydney McLaughlin, I think she runs today. We still got 200 meter finals. We still got the relays. And then I think let's close the ceremonies. Bye. Get the hell on, Olympics. Bring back all the other sports out there. Bring back football. Bring back the WNBA. Bring back some. We actually talk about bring back the WNBA, guys. Isn't that some wild shit? <laughs> Man, bro, you got to love it. You got to love what the person has done for the sport. I appreciate it. Look, you even got somebody watching. I never thought we'll watch WNBA. I personally never thought this man would watch the WNBA, but he said this has been the most he's ever watched in life, and I believe it. I believe it because he has a reason to watch, and that's CC. Guys, I thank y'all for being here. I know I've been gone for a minute. I won't do this again. I promise I won't. I, I, I actually am thinking about doing a live tonight. So if you guys can make it, y'all come check your boy out, man. It's probably going to be like 8 o'clock, 9, some shit like that. I don't know um, what Central, what Eastern, it'll probably be like 9 or 8. Uh, on the West Coast, you probably get me like about 5 or 6. But I'm going to go live, man, because the things I want to talk about with y'all and see how y'all are feeling about these Olympics and what are y'all thoughts on this second half of the WNBA and what sport are you waiting to restart again? Like, is it football? Is it the NBA? Which one is it? And who is your favorite NFL team, because we finna get into the NFL, guys. It's right around the corner. It's right around the corner, guys. Look, I thank y'all. I thank y'all for tuning in, man. You know what to do. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not a part of Chocolata Crew, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drop videos. We out. Peace. Thank y'all for being here, man. I know it's been a minute since I've been back. Please, keep supporting me, though, please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> yeah. Take care.